So yeah, Tanya's back. I told you guys. Two yeah. weeks in a row. So this week, um, basically we're just taking the week to hang out. To hang out with uh, Tanya's niece and nephew. Actually, here's some great footage of us hanging out in the pool. Alright, cool. You ready, kid? Yeah. Let's go. So yeah, so we've basically been uh, just hanging out with her niece and nephew. We're actually about to go, you know, take them to go bowling. But uh, we definitely just wanted to address you guys and talk about some stuff. So this weekend was a big weekend for a, uh, definitely a fan favorite charger to everyone. Uh, the Danian Tomlinson, the man LT himself. Well-deserved honor. We were fortunate enough to catch it on TV, you know, the whole everything. I mean, charger fans, you guys know. LT's the man. Like, I was fortunate enough, my dad, bought me his jersey his rookie year when I was in sixth grade and it's like this guy's gonna be good and I mean he turned into LT so <laughs> my dad wasn't lying but uh definitely one of my biggest role models both of our biggest role models on and off the field mm -hmm. not just for an outstanding football player he was but also just what a great guy he is just in real life and uh I don't know it was it was definitely like one of those moments that like like I'm not gonna like forget watching a speech and watching him get inducted and everything. You know, that was a that was a I don't know. It was just it was just a good thing to watch. It was just a good yeah, thing to watch, nice. and I'm I'm happy for Ladanian. I'm happy for you know his family and and you know everyone who was a part of the Chargers organization that led to his success. And it was just good. Hold on, I gotta there. That's better. But yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see if there's anyone of. Uh, of that caliber who comes around to the Chargers again and just gets the fans excited like like he did on Sundays, you know what I mean? Like chanting and Yeah, exactly. The Dur energy, everything. I don't know. I feel like those were the best years. They were. They the were yeah. definitely the best. At least of our generation. Mm -hmm. You know, some of you older heads, if you're watching this, you know, obviously there was a Dan Fouts era. Mm -hmm. Older than that, if you're still around and even are aware of YouTube, um, and you were around for like the 1960s Chargers and the Lance Allworth years. I'm sure mm -hmm. it was a wonderful experience then. But for us, personally, for, for us personally, us, there was certain players, and LT was one of them. So yeah, like there was Charger crowds, Charger games at that time. There was nothing else like it at that time. With mm -hmm. the, you know, the whole stadium chanting LT, LT, LT. It was just there was never another time like it than, than I've experienced other than those years. That what like 2004 to 2008 mm -hmm. time frame I guess 2006 being their their best yes, season yeah. it just it just brought us back thinking about all those memories and all those people who are involved oh and his Hall of Fame speech yeah that was that was one for the books um I mean his his speech he covered each and every point in his career and and I like that and and I'm I don't want to get too political here mm -hmm. but I like that he used his platform to kind of you know push on another message the whole like let's be team america type of thing let's fight for each other let's give each other an opportunity and again without getting too political i i loved what he did with that platform and the message that he wanted to send because i mean that's that's something that i hope to kind of display or demonstrate of like if somebody's willing to put in the work and show they're worthy and, and show their worth and, and make something out of nothing, then there's no reason why that person should be denied that opportunity ever. Like, regardless of who they are, where they came from, whatever. If they're willing to do what they need to do and be the best human being they can be, like, why shouldn't we be helping those type of people out? I just think that the message in general was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Because it's just, yeah, let's be, let's be Team America. Let's not pick sides and say who's better or what's better. Let's just be team all of us. Let's all help each other out. So I like I loved everything you had to say. Last thing that we want to address on this video. Um, so there's been a discussion, I mean, throughout since the whole Chargers relocation, but I mean, I noticed it a few, on a few of comments on like some of our videos and I do want to address it in a video because I feel like I can better explain myself in a video than a comment. Um, so there has been like, and there always probably will be 
of you know how can you be how can you still be a Chargers fan when they're not in San Diego? Um, there's going to be a separation between those who are still loyal to the Chargers and those who are loyal to San Diego. You know, basically the uh, Charger fan versus loyal to the soil argument. We have decided to stay um, loyal to the San Diego Chargers and still root for them. I don't, I don't know if it's because we don't know any better or <laughs> it's just trying to hang on to, you know, something about us. I do want to say, put it out there, for those San Diego fans, I don't blame any of you in the least bit. I don't blame anyone from San Diego who straight up says, I cannot root for that team anymore because of the owner, because of what they've done and how they've made people feel. Like, I get that. I, I truly and genuinely understand that. And to be honest, I mean, we, we shared those same thoughts. Yeah, especially me. Yes, yeah. Me personally, and I've said this in videos before, I've been fortunate and blessed enough to have the luxury to experience Charger season tickets basically my entire life. I mean, my first game, I went to a Chargers game when I was barely old enough to walk. My dad has had season tickets since the 1980s, and we've had them in our family ever since. So it was really hard to give up that aspect because it's no, I don't keep it a secret at all. Since they moved to LA, I just straight up can't afford the season tickets anymore, like I used to in San Diego. We went to, we probably been, me and Tanya have been to every regular season game for the last three seasons since mm -hmm. I basically took them over from my dad and it, it's different and it's going to be different and it's something probably I'll never get over. I, I definitely know I won't get over it because I've been to pretty much every single playoff Charger game uh, since the 2000s. I've have made countless memories and experiences um, I mean, I met my girlfriend in large part because of the Chargers and, you know, minicamp in 2008. Uh, it's just a, such a huge part of my life that it's not something I can just ignore. I, yes, I still root for the team, but I definitely don't ignore the fact that, you know, they did hurt a lot of people who have been loyal for so many years, so. But they are the Chargers. Mm-hmm. I don't think LA defines them, so. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. I don't think LA defines the Chargers. I will address this. If the Chargers were to ever win a Super Bowl under the name Los Angeles Chargers, I, I definitely would have a bitter taste in my mouth about them parading through LA and not San Diego. I think the only way they can rectify that is to have a parade in LA and a parade in San Diego. I don't think that would work. I don't think that would work because I think there'd be more fans showing up to egg them and throw tomatoes at them than, than actually celebrating them, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I agree. I'm going to stick with the team. I don't, I don't know any better. I mean, that's that's my team. I Again, I don't know that I would ever blame anyone, any of you, any fan in San Diego for not wanting to support the team anymore and just being straight Padres and Aztecs from now on. I agree, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of a heavy subject and it still is. And especially since we get closer to the regular season, I know it hasn't left the thought of anybody. So let us know in the comments, as always, let us know your thoughts and feelings, how you feel, not just on the negative stuff. Let's also talk about, uh, you know, LT, let's celebrate Ladanian's accomplishments and let's do that too. Yeah, that's like the biggest thing. I yeah. Feel like, you know, that's the highlight of, if you're still a Charter fan, even if you're not, I know LT is still, gonna be a big part of like celebrating so at least that you know mm -hmm. let us know in the comments how you feel give this video a thumbs up if you agree and don't thumbs down it <laughs> don't thumbs down it okay. uh, so <laughs> <laughs> subscribe if you haven't if you're new to the channel uh, we post new videos every single Tuesday I'm thinking and don't hold me accountable to this I'm thinking about maybe going to two videos once the regular season starts. Yeah, we're thinking um, of splitting the videos because we do do like daily vlogging and that's one video and then maybe um, we could do the charger videos separate because sometimes meshing them is just too much and it gets mm -hmm. hard. It doesn't really go into our vlogs, but we still have stuff to say. So if he can find time, we'll do two videos. Yeah, so that way. So he can talk all he wants because he's a talker and then you guys can <laughs> subscribe for makeup tutorials and food reviews oh my god 
<laughs> no, yeah, but we'll do one video that's like us hanging out, and then I want to do one video that's like a charger update weekly. So let me know what you guys think about that because this outro is getting really, really long. Um, so just let us know. Yeah, <laughs> let us know in the comments below. I was gonna say something else and I forgot. Oh, I remember. Okay. Oh, and last but not least, let's not forget. Kind of hit a, a little bit of a mini milestone. So, 300 subscribers. Oh yeah! Thank you. So let's let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. 300 subscribers. Okay, now set it down. Set it down. <laughs> okay, but yeah, huge thank you, all 300 of you who have subscribed. Means a lot. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, and anyone who's watched any of our videos, thank you for the support. I mean, I know it's as easy as just watching a video because you probably clicked because you're looking at other Charger stuff and you're like, hey, what are these people click on their video? Because it looked interesting. Maybe it didn't look interesting. We you get just... the point. Thank you. <laughs>And uh, we were LA Galaxy fans before the Chargers moved to the Stub Hub Center. So actually went to a game. Yeah. Thank you very much. So that was before the LA Chargers. We we also support the LA Galaxy as as soccer fans. Yeah, it has nothing to do to LA. We are not against LA. Well, the Chargers belong in San Diego. Yeah, that's just our opinion. That's always going to be our opinion. But they're always going to be a San Diego Chargers to me. Yep. I just want to make that clear. If anybody was wondering.